वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सिक्स डैश एटीन दिस प्रॉब्लम इज टेकन फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स दैट इज बैंडिंग एंड बुक नेम इज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटीरियल बाय आर सी ब्लर स्टेटमेंट इज ड्रॉ द शेयर एंड मूवमेंट डायग्राम फॉर द बीम एंड डिटरमाइन द शेयर एंड मूवमेंट थ्रू द बीम एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अ कैंटिलीवर बीम दैट इज एक्टेड अपॉन बाई यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड ओवर अ लेंथ ऑफ सिक्स फीट एंड एट सिक्स फीट वी हैव अ पॉइंट लोड ऑफ टेन केप्स and at this end free end we have point load of 8 kips and external movement of 40 kips into feet so you have to determine the shear and movement diagram of the beam and shear and movement throughout the beam as a function of x so let's start with the solution so first step is that if you remove this support fixed support at point uh, let this is point a so you will be having a reaction force which will be equal to r a and when you remove this you will be having a moment reaction moment as well ma so we will find first ma and ra by using equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all moment about point a is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive now you can see this is a uniformly distributed load of 2 kips so when this two load 2 kilo 2 kips per feet uniformly distributed load is converted into a point load so we, i will take this load into length over which it act which is equal to 6 and that will be equal to 12 clear now we'll apply this equation of equilibrium so at about point a first moment will be this load into perpendicular distance will be 6 divided by 2 because it will act at a half so this will be 3 feet and that will be clockwise so it will be negative so i will write 12 into 3 minus 12 into 3 minus 12 into 3 the second moment about point a is this 10 kips load into perpendicular distance is this 6 feet and this is also clockwise so it will be negative so minus 10 into 6 the third moment that is produced due to this 8 into perpendicular distance is this 10 and this is also clockwise so it will be negative so i will write minus 8 into 10 and this clockwise external moment which is minus 40 plus this external moment which is counter clockwise ma will be equal to 0 so when you solve this you will get this moment about point a will be equal to 216 kips into feet so this is moment about point a now we'll find this r a by using equation of equilibrium is that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and upward force is taken as positive so you can see r a which is acting upward so r a minus this point distributed load converted into point load so minus 12 Minus ten, which is this one, and minus eight will be equal to zero. So from here, you will get R A will be equal to thirty kip load. Okay. Now first we will solve this uh, shear and moment function. Shear and moment as function of x so for that if i cut beam at a distance of x and draw the free body diagram so it will be like this this is the beam clear here you have r a which is 30 kips and this distance is where you have cut the beam is x and there is a moment which is ma and that is 216 kips into feet and from here from throughout the length of x we have uniformly distributed load that will be acting downward and this load is 2 kips per feet and when you cut it so you will be having a shear force clear which is v and you have a moment reaction moment m so we'll find this v and m by using equation of equilibrium so we'll 
and this is for x is great this is valid for x is greater than 0 and less or equal to 6 feet clear because over this we have uniformly distributed load now we will find this v and m by using equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and upward force is taken as positive so 30 which is acting upward so 30 minus this v which is acting downward and when you convert this uniformly distributed load into point load so 2 into length which is x and that will be acting downward minus 2 into x will be equal to 0 so from here this shear force will be equal to 30 minus 2 into x and unit will be kip let this is your equation number one now we'll find this m so for m we will apply sum of all moments about point let this is point o so point o is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so about this point o first moment will be it is 30 into perpendicular distance is x this is clock count clockwise so it will be negative so i will write it first minus 30 into x the second moment with due to uh, the second moment is this external moment which is counterclockwise and this is 216 so i will write plus 216 the third moment will be due to this 2x and it will be acting at a half of this total length which is equal to x by 2 and this is producing counterclockwise moment so it will be also positive so i will write 2x into x by 2 so plus 2x into x by 2 and there is an external moment which is again counterclockwise m is equal to 0. So from here we will get minus 30x plus 216, 2, 2 will cancel and plus x square plus m is equal to 0. So this moment will be equal to minus x square plus 30x minus 216 so this is a moment function which is a function of x and unit will be kips into feet let this is equation number two now equation one equation one and two are valid for x is greater or equal to 0 and less or equal to 6 feet. You can see this is valid till this point. Okay. What we will do is that now we will cut the beam for x is equal to this. So this let this will be the total x. Clear. x is this one. So this remaining distance will be equal to total length is 10 feet. So 10 minus x will be this remaining portion. And we will draw the free body diagram of this portion so let me draw it and this is region for x is greater than or equal to x is greater than six feet and less or equal to 10 feet and when you draw the free ball diagram it will be like this so at this end we have a point load of eight kips there you have a moment of 40 kips into feet and when you cut it you will be having a shear force upward and you will be having a reaction moment m clear just check it like this i have drawn this this portion over here and we will find this shear force and moment by using equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces in our y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive. So you can see V is upward. So V minus this eight, which is downward is equal to zero. So it means that shear force is eight kips for the length greater than six feet and less than 10 feet. Now we'll find this moment. So for moment, sum of all moments, let this is point number two. So about point two is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. So you can see this remaining distance was 10 minus 
x. So about point two, the first moment will be eight into perpendicular distance is ten into my ten minus x, and this is clockwise. It will be negative, and this minus forty kips into feet that is also clockwise, and plus this external moment which is count clockwise. This is obviously this will be also negative, and their sum must be equal to zero. So I will write minus m. Minus eight into ten x ten minus x ten minus x and minus forty is equal to zero. So this moment will be equal to minus eighty plus eighty x minus forty. So it will be equal to eighty x minus one twenty, and unit will be equal to kips into inch. This is your equation number three, and this is your equation number four. Now, equation number three and four are valid for x is greater than six feet and less or equal to ten feet. So these are the shear force. And moment equation as a function of x for the region x is greater than or equal to zero and less or equal to six feet, and these are the shear force and moment equation for region x is greater than six feet and less or equal to ten feet. Now we'll move towards second part, which is draw the shear and moment diagram for the beam. So for that, again I have to draw the vertical lines from the end of this beam. So let me draw it first. at this end i will also draw vertical lines and from this end also and we will draw a horizontal line in order to show the length so this is length and we will write this x will be in equal to feet and y axis we have shear force the unit will be kips okay so let one division is 10 so 10 20 30 so you can take as per your own clear and similarly minus 10 minus 20 and so on so at first point we have ra which is equal to 30 kips so first point will be your this one this is your first point now at a distance at this point at a length of 6 feet you can see you have distributed load so 2 into 6 will be minus 12 clear so what we will do is 30 minus 12 will be equal to 18 so at this point we have 18 clear so we'll plot this point let this point is 18 now you can see that your distributed load is a horizontal line with 0 degree so shear force will be 1 degree higher and it will be linear line and slope will be decreasing because this load is downward so i will join these two points using a straight line now at this point we have minus 10 so minus 18 minus 10 will bring it to 8 so shear force will change to this point 8 this is 8 clear and moving from this point till end there is no other shear force so it will remain horizontal clear and at the end you can see you have minus 8 so plus 8 minus 8 will bring it to 0 and this will be your shear force diagram now we will move to our bending moment diagram and for bending moment diagram i will draw a horizontal line to show the length in feet x in feet okay so here we have moment which unit will be kips into feet let one division is equal to 50 minus 50 minus 100 Minus one fifty, minus two hundred, 
in minus 250. So at x is equal to 0, we have movement will be equal to 0. This is your first point. Now second point will be the area under the shear force diagram will be this one. You can also use, this is a trapezoid, you can also calculate it, but we have a function here for the moment. So you can see for x is equal to 6 feet. So when you put x is equal to 6, so 30 into 6 into 6 square minus, and this will give you moment will be equal to minus 72. So, okay. So before that, we can see that we have a moment ma at this point. There is no moment zero because there is external moment ma is given which is equal to 216 that is uh, counterclockwise so while drawing the bending moment diagram it should be causing the bending moment toward the negative side so let this is minus 216 so minus 216 this will be your first point now for x is equal to 6 feet so when you put it in this formula so you will get moment will be equal to um, you will get the moment minus 72 for x is equal to 6 it will give you moment 72 so it means that our length of uh, 6 feet we have minus 72 so we'll plot this let this is minus 72 there now you can see that this shear force is a linear line of first degree and slope is decreasing. So bending movement will be second degree line and it will be count clockwise like this. There. So we will join these two points like this. It will be a second degree line. Uh, line. There. This will be the line. Now. The second area under the shear force diagram is this area you can also calculate that but for x is greater than 6 feet and less than 10 less or equal to 10 feet so you will use this equation so when you put x is equal to 10 clear so this will be equal to 800 sorry this is not 80 this is 8x so let me correct it minus 80 minus plus 8x so this is 8x so for x is equal to 10 clear we have 8 into 10 minus 120 will be equal to minus 40 at this point clear so we will plot this minus 40 so minus 40 and you can see that this shear force is a horizontal line with zero degrees so bending moment will be one degree higher and this is positive so slope will be increasing so we'll join these two points like this clear and at the end you can see you have a movement that will be clockwise so which will cause it toward minus 40 plus 40 will be equal to zero so this will be like this so it will be your bending moment diagram so this was all about this problem 6-18 you can find this shear force and bending moment diagram so if you put x here and here so you will get and when you join all these points so you will get the shear force diagram like this and the bending moment diagram will be like this i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching